information, tips, and tricks for Hillbilly Days 2024, presented by the Appalachian Wireless Arena. This is the Hillbilly Handbook. Pike County is buzzing with excitement in anticipation of the 47th annual Hillbilly Days Festival, which will kick off its festivities on Thursday, April 18th. Back years ago, uh, my dad, the late Shady Grady Kenny, and Dirty Harry Stratton wanted to have a little parade, and that money would go to Lexington Shriners Hospital. And here we sit, you know, this is the 47th year of it. All three days of the festival will be filled with games, rides, and food trucks. The opening ceremony for the event will be held at the Pikeville City Park on Thursday starting at 5 p.m. I think that this little festival is one of the top festivals in the state of Kentucky. It's really worked good and it's helped so many kids. Appalachian Wireless wants you to save money this tax season with the iPhone 13 for a penny on the Appalachian Unlimited or mix and match plans in store only. iPhone 13 for a penny. Terms and conditions do apply. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Multiple stages will host musical performances throughout the event and Shriners, both local and out of state, will be set up across from the city park to sell merchandise. While the festivities are fun and exciting, it is important to remember that proceeds from the festival go to the Shriners Children's Hospital in Lexington. I know as of right now, just in our county here in Pike County, we're running over 300 kids and we got to looking at the appointments. There's been over a thousand appointments last year. So the people in this area and the kids in this area are getting the help. While you walk through the festival, be sure to stop by the Hillbilly Christmas in July booth to buy some merch, purchase a raffle ticket for a motorcycle, and take a photo with their Hillbilly outhouse. All proceeds from their merch sales go towards the Shriners Children's Hospital. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Fidel.